it's day again and i'm back with another tutorial and a giveaway of every strands earthy hair essentials deep moisture hair mask and their curling cream and nah this is not another perm rot set tutorial i'm actually going to be showing you guys my progression from a good bantu knot out to a bomb one so i'm jumping straight into every strands deep moisture hair mask i just shampooed my hair today and i want to redeposit some moisture back into my strands this conditioner is concentrated and softens my hair for easy detangling. If you want some more info on how I deep condition my hair and when I do it, check out my featured video that is going to be linked right now. After I rinse out the hair mask, I just go ahead and apply my leave-in so my hair is now left soft and shiny. For this style, I'm going to do a safe and worry-free way to stretch my hair with a blow dryer and I'll show y'all how to do that right now. First thing I'm going to do is apply heat protectant to prevent my moisture from drying out and then I'm going to detangle. I take my blow dryer and set it to high speed but medium heat and I'm going to be using the tension method to stretch my hair. On the right you'll see me blow drying my hair in long strokes with the dryer just a few inches away from my hair. I feel like this gave me less flyaway hair and it dried my hair evenly versus the first time where I did it on the left my hair wasn't drying evenly and I had to keep going back. And this is how my hair looks stretched using the tension method. It's still moisturized soft and it has a lot of body. This will not damage your hair, but make sure you properly moisturize so the air doesn't dry out your moisture. So my style today is of course Every Strand Curling Cream. This cream is made for textured hair so I don't need a lot to fill its full effect. In fact, if my hair starts reverting, I know I apply too much. Now when I start the twist, I start close to the roots. The trick for smooth curls is to twist your hair with the hair pinched flat between your thumb. See how that smooth across my thumb and then rolled into the twist? So I'm going to do this pinching twist three quarters of the way down. Then I'm going to use one hand to help stabilize my roots and the other for bantooing, if that's even a word. I found it best to use one hand to bantu so you don't get confused about which direction you're twisting. And at the end, I just try to tuck it in and if it doesn't work, I'll just use a bobby pin to hold it in place. So again, apply the product, smooth it on, use one hand to stabilize your roots and the other one to bantu. The key to the bantu knot technique for me is to flatten the hair when you're wrapping and to not wrap too tight. You think that wrapping the hair tighter is better, but actually the tighter you wrap the longer it takes to dry and it overstretches the hair into those stiff waves with no kind of curly snapback. On the left side of this frame is my struggle knots. These are much smaller because I was twisting them way tighter. I applied too much product so my hair started reverting. It took it longer to dry and it had less bounce for it when I took it down. You'll see it was taking me longer to knot. And the reason I'm showing y'all the struggle knot is to show you guys that it takes practice and trial and error. I've tried these fancy knots four times recently and I just got it down pat. I let these air dry for a full day and then I took them down the next morning by untwisting the knots like a bottle top using some softening oil and coiling the ends to keep it smooth. I then made sure my roots were already loosened and went ahead and started lifting them with a the pick just to start going ahead and getting rid of these parts. Before I separate, I apply some more oils to my hand, then I start loosening the twist a little bit and I separate at the ends where it's tightly wrapped. Then I coil the ends and separate that half piece in half again, then do the same to the other half too. With 
with my struggle knots, I applied too much product and I twisted it looser than I have in the past but tighter than I did on the right. So my roots weren't all the way dry in some spots and my hair was stiff. I was also separating towards the roots rather than separating at the ends which created more frizz. Something I learned when doing this was, when you're working on dry hair, you don't need to apply as much product as you do with wet hair. So now I'm just going to pick, separate, and fluff some more, but I'm going to do it off camera so I can see what I'm actually doing. And this is the final result of my second attempt recording. If I pair it by the first time I recorded, you can see I have more bounce, definition, and less frizz. I decided to finish off this look by pinning my hair back a little bit. And I was able to keep it for four days by bonding in my curls at night and then just shaking and fluffing in the morning. It progressed into a coily fro and it was super cute. I know a lot of us watching these Bantu Knot tutorials are chasing those big elongated curls, but I did this video to show the reality of what a lot of our hair will look like from Bantu Knots, and it's still bomb. And here are the giveaway rules. Please follow and read all the rules. All you have to do is subscribe and like, follow myself and Every Strands TM on Instagram, and comment why you want to win. For more details on my deep conditioning regimen, check out this video here and it'll tell you everything you need to know about deep conditioning my natural hair. Also, if you would like to keep up with me, check me out on Instagram at De La Soul, Snapchat at De La Soul Lit.